I developed a method that is called face healing method. And I put face yoga, reflexology, acupuncture, mindfulness, and lymphatic drainage all at once. Why? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, ¿y tú? Bien, bien, muy bien, muy bien. <laughs> Welcome and thank you for uh, thank you for joining me on my uh, for being a guest on my podcast. Um, I've been uh, really looking forward to this one, and uh, thank you for joining me. Um, just a little bit of introduction to uh, who I have on my guest, who I have, who I have on my uh, podcast today is uh, just someone who was very special to us uh, ever since we've come to Canada. And, um, you know, just somebody who has just been a super positive person in our lives. Uh, so help me welcome in with me on, uh, on the podcast today, uh, lymphatic massage certified trainer, uh, facial paralysis survivor, and number one facial yoga practitioner. Uh, please help me in welcoming Carolina Yarinova. Did I say that correct? Yes, Carolina ah. Yarinova. <laughs> ah, perfect. Thank you. Awesome. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I was looking forward to be here too. Amazing. So, uh, should we get straight into it? Uh, and, uh, you know, let's discuss why, you know, why you got into, you know, the term lymphatic. Uh, what was it? What was your driving force to get into that kind of practice? I discovered lymphatic drainage by accident. I'm, I had a Bell's palsy eight, eight years ago. And um, I didn't know that there's a virus that maybe we all have that when our immune system is down, it can produce a Bell's palsy or a facial paralysis. And um, the thing is that our lymphatic uh, system is in charge of collecting all the bacteria, virus, uh, cell cancer, cancer cells and in our systems and it cleans everything in our body. So um, I didn't know that, and uh, I experienced like the whole uh, symptoms of the Bell's palsy. And uh, when I was trying to recover, because I live in Guatemala, I studied everything that it was available, like reflexology. I studied massage, uh, like acupuncture, um, lymphatic for face and body. And also I studied face yoga, so I became first. Uh, something that I was specialized in for my recovery. And then I start sharing with other people or my knowledge because I just found out that not only is like a huge awareness for the Bell's palsy and facial paralysis, also for our health. And also because it's like gives you this glow and beauty in your body and, and body and your body and face that people really, really like that people really, really love the results. Right, right. Yeah, it's not something I've been aware of until I met you, <laughs> you know, and you've, you've given us the, uh, the exposure to lymphatic drainage and, you know, face yoga. Um, so I guess my next question would be like, um, like you said, how has it been for you overall? You know, just practices, practicing these, uh, you know, techniques every day, how is it, how is it improved your life? One of the things that I noticed is that after my Bell's palsy, I was recovering all the movements in my face and I was willing to, I was looking better, but there was something in my system that every day was making my eye twitching, my stress level were like the same as before the Bell's palsy. And the doctor said to me, if you don't change your lifestyle, you can have another facial paralysis because it's like the stress levels that are like hitting your immune system, your nervous system and producing all this. Right. So in that moment, I said to myself, this is not about recovering how I look. It's about being well from the inside out and also to, uh, what am I going to have a 55, like a heart attack? Like I was 35, imagine. And it's like incredible. Like I was, I never imagined that I will have like a Bell's palsy at that age. I was like pretty young. 
So for me, every day, I do my lymphatic drainage with exercises, breathing, and massages every single day in my face and in my body, not to look good and beauty because that's the secondary effect, but to feel good, to release the stress, to release the toxins, to release that virus that come, that is in my system all the time. And also I discovered that I sleep better. Right. I handle the stress and the anxiety so much like good. And also there's another thing that um, I feel that I'm more connected with my body. So my body says to me like when I have to rest, when I have to like eat certain things, like I be, I became really like like uh, this language with my body that is really sensitive. So I don't push it. I listen to it. And um, also that changed my whole energy because when I was listening to my body instead of complaining and instead of like having these dark stress levels, I start like having more a positive like mindset. Uh, at this energy of like like what I see in the mirror and liking myself and loving myself each and every day more. Amazing. That that's that's so positive and uh you know it's so heartwarming because uh I mean you could have given up at any point in time, uh, but you found a way to you know improve your life and you know to build something that's that's meaningful to you. Um I think a lot of people would just, I would agree like if you would agree, like a lot of people would just give up, you know, and go into like a little bit of uh, desperate, I mean, depression and, you know, have anxiety. But uh, what you've done is you've shown that, you know, there is a way that you can come out of this, uh, this, you know, this diagnosis in a positive light. Yeah, that's true. Like I was in a really, really dark place, but I have three kids. And I have been raised, in, raised them like a single mom, so I don't have a plan B. <laughs> so that means that I have to be well for them, for me. And um, honestly, like, I think I was like living in a automatic mode or like just like a robot before the Bell's palsy. And when the Bell's palsy hits me, it was like uh, an eye opening of all the possibilities of like how the the this place of I have to choose like either I stay like that and depressed or I move forward and recover and I can do something different with my life I can change I can uh, be well for me and uh, I think that we all got to these dark places and we always have those two options like stay in the same place and like quit or really, really dig in in our heart, in our gut, yes. and have that strength to move forward. And sometimes it can, your motivation can be your kids. Sometimes your motivation can be yourself. Sometimes your motivation can be a dream. And I said that to my followers a lot that like, may your dreams be bigger than your fears, than your depression, than your story than all the drama that you have lived or all the traumas that you have experienced, you know? But don't quit, like always find something that makes you wake up every single day. And with that, you have like a tunnel vision and you focus on that and go for it. And like, there's no plan B, just think about it. Like you just have your plan A and that's to achieve what you want, what you desire, your dreams whatever they may look like no 100 percent, i agree with you uh having also gone through you know being in a dark space myself uh a couple of years back um there was always a vision always there was always a, a goal that i wanted to achieve which was coming to canada you know at that point in time so i think that was my was my you know my focus at that point in time because if i think i didn't Honestly, if I didn't have something to look forward to, I, I it would have been a very difficult road. You know, it would have been very tough for me to actually, you know, get up and, and get out of my uh, my depression and, you know, just kept on living the same, you know, the same toxic lifestyle that I was, I was living. But uh, 
like you said, if you have a, if you have a, a goal and you have a vision, uh, there's always something to look forward to, and you keep grinding and you keep building on that every single day, even though some days it's hard, some days you don't feel like you need to, you you have the energy to do so, um, you still get it done because you know even just a little bit of accomplishment gets you closer to your goal. And also, it's like this space where when you have this tunnel vision. Like you're gonna feel lonely sometimes. Like I remember that everyone was saying that I was crazy to pursue like being a face yoga and lymphatic drainage teacher. My family was saying, hey, you know what? That's that doesn't like gives you money. But I was like, maybe I can change that, you know? And like how many people require something to connect with their body, to connect with their face, to to see something that they like in the mirror instead of like complaining and that was a dream for me like to have awareness about how to prevent a bell's palsy how to prevent cancer also because the immune system is so important to prevent cancer and doing the massages because when you're doing your massage you're like always having this a uh, moment to see if there's something in your body that is like weird and you can go to the doctor and get the, that diagnosis and get that treatment in the time that you need to because my mom was um, my mom had cancer when she was 55 she never complained about anything she swallowed all the emotions all the things that she was feeling and when they found out that she had cancer uh, it was too late and she died three months later so for me, studying all this is to get the awareness in women that we can have longer like days, healthy days with our kids, with our family. We can prevent cancer. We can prevent all these diseases that are like all the time we got because we have a stagnation in our lymphatic drainage. And uh, that was my dream. And when you have a dream, people will say that you're crazy. That doesn't like give you like money or whatever they think, but you know better, you have it in your heart and you just have to trust that because I have to acknowledge, I have to acknowledge that, that uh, I never look down and I never quit. And now my business is growing so fast. It, it was first in Spanish and now like I'm leaving my dreams in English yes yes <laughs> so imagine everyone was saying that I was crazy and also when we decided when I decided to come here to Canada like you my kids were like are you abandoning us because I have to leave my kids for one year in Guatemala mm -hmm. in order for me to have the papers for me and for them and everyone judged me that I was being a bad mom everyone judged me that I was being selfish but I knew in my heart that this was for the best. And you are the only one who has to know that this is the right path for you. Don't try to convince anyone. Don't try to make like everyone claps for you. No one is gonna do it. Mm -hmm. It's only in your mindset and you looking into your heart and feeling that call that you have, that purpose and go for it. No, they always say, always trust your gut, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's so true. Sometimes we just, we don't think about it and we, we go the other way instead of just trusting what we feel is right. Uh, and that's always the right answer. Whether it be, whether it's, it's, it aligns with other people's feelings or their thoughts, it doesn't matter. But if you feel that it's the right for you, uh, you should always go with that. It's not always easy, but 99% of the time, it, it's always pointing you in the right direction. Yeah, and be patient with yourself. Like there's like lows and like downs and like ups. It's everything in the in the past, but everything is a contribution to you. Like you never lose, you always learn. And that's something that um, I was always judging that like, why did I not do that before? Or like, why they like don't buy me, buy my products or why did I say this? And like, when you're judging yourself all the time, imagine like, instead of like having this mindset of like let's push forward let's push forward you sometimes are your worst enemy your mind your thoughts like your judgments and uh 
that's something that uh, I work with myself every day because our brain is trained to go back to the drama, to go back and say like, you know what? Like you shouldn't stay where I told you. And like, you shouldn't do what they were saying. They were right and you were wrong. We're trained to, to have that mindset. Yes. And you just have to every single day re acknowledge those thoughts and change them. Like okay. right away, like when you wake up in the morning and you feel like I'm a loser, no, like stop there and like, how can I change today? What can I add to my life that brings me joy, right. that brings me a new dream, that brings me my desires? Like, what can I add? Maybe it's waking up in the morning, do a meditation. Maybe it's going for a walk and like release all the stress and like connect with nature and see that all the blessings that we have around, because we don't even acknowledge that we're like breathing right now. Mm -hmm. We have this beautiful sun, or sometimes it happens to me here in Canada that people is like, oh, it's horrible, it's snowing, it's like <laughs> snow, it's a snowstorm, it's horrible, the weather. And I have so many people saying that, and I say all the time, like for me, snow is like money, like coming from the sky. So I'm yes. like, all the time I do this and like money come, money come, money come, money come, because that's abundance. It's like, mm. like, like you, everything flowing to your way. So you have always two, two ways to see, to see life. And I always right. choose to, to go to the prosperity, abundance and positive side, instead of like being the person that I used to be, because I was that person that like, that was the pessimist, and the always like whining kind of girl. I was that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. I love your I love your energy. It's 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 infectious as well. And I mean, you also, like you said, you have three kids and you know that the way you love life is the way they see you love and also then in positively impacts them on how they see the world. So I think you, you you're doing a great job. And uh, I always said, like, you're always like an inspiration. Uh, to a lot of us, uh, you know, that that have met you, that have spent time with you. Um, and hence why, like, you know, I thought, why not get a, a person who has gone through so much, you know, speak about her story uh, and we can, you know, uh, inspire others as well. Yeah, the thing is that we usually, as parents, say to our kids, you have to change, you have to study, you have to do this, you, you, you. And uh, kids replicate your energy. If you go for your dreams, they will go. Mm. If you're brave, they will be brave. If you're uh, all the time seeing this gratitude side of, of or mood, they will be like this gratitude about everything that they have. If you pursue your, your goals and they see that you don't quit, even if it's uncomfortable, even yes. if don't know the words because I was I was thinking like I, sometimes I say to myself like it's really really hard for me to speak in English on a live or in a podcast because I have so many things to say that I have to like the translation you know and it's not easy but I do it anyways and it doesn't matter how it sounds so this about showing up to my dreams showing up to whatever I want to to create in my life for my for me for my business for my family that's what they're watching me to do every yes. single day so they're gonna replicate that i don't even have to tell them study because they will do it i don't mm -hmm. have to tell them you know what think about having a business because now they know how is to start a business from scratch and like with everyone against you and they know that it's possible so what can you show your kids that is possible, but doing it you first, yes. not to point at them. No, that's that's so true. Um, so I want to go back to technique, you know, face yoga. So I don't think a lot of people actually know or actually practice uh, your face yoga. Um, what is what is face yoga and how does it like how does it improve? Um, you know that the functionality uh you know going day of, of every day like i know yoga is you know it it improves your your, your mental well-being you know physical well-being 
but face yoga is something that's fairly new. Uh, if you could just shed some light into like, you know, the kind of different techniques you use and, you know, where, how easy is it, come, someone can do it at home for themselves. I develop a method that is called face healing method. And I put face yoga, reflexology, acupuncture, mindfulness, and lymphatic drainage all at once. Why? Because sometimes when we are doing massages, we're stimulating all the reflexology in our face and the acupuncture points. Reflex reflexology points in our face are target to release all the stress that is in your organs. So when you're pointing, for example, here, you're pointing the liver. So this movement will release the anger, the toxins, and it will give that energy that your liver needs to produce a better work for your body, to work better, okay? Right. So the reflexology is really important, but I was noticing that people were just doing it like this. And then like, I was like, where are you? You're thinking about your kids, you're thinking about the traffic, you're thinking about your bills. So you're not connected to your face. So when I was doing everything to just like doing massages and recover, my twitching, it was because I was not, not doing that presence in the moment that I was. So I developed this face healing method, putting and adding this mindfulness, that attention when you're doing all the movements in your face. With this, we get to stimulate our reflexology points the acupuncture points that are the points that boost your energy in the whole system of your body. And also when you're moving and doing the massages, you're getting all the fluids, the toxins out of the face that is creating sometimes like the under eye circles or the nasolabials like falls that are like really pronounced or the double chin, or if you have like spots. So, when you combine all these tools in one practice, you will achieve a hormonal balance because you're breathing inside out and also you're stimulating your lymphatic system and that's pumping out all the extra, hor the extra hormon hormones that you have or the excess of hormones that you have in your body. And with that, we can reduce the stress level. And when we do the massages and use our knots, we have a lot of knots here in our body. And I, I call them like we have a waterfall because it's so pretty that our face has like a waterfall for all the knots to drain into our neck. And when everything is released, when you're doing your massages and taking all the directions of the lymphatic flow from the knots to the other knots and then like draining, you will see that your face will have that perfect lifting, will have that glow, the, the spots will be removed, you prevent wrinkles, you soft your ex the expression of your face. I have people that were using Botox and then they're saying like, I don't have to use anymore, mm -hmm. or they were using fillers and they're like, oh my God, this is like better. And also they feel the circulation in your body and in, in your face so active that the nutrients, the oxygens are like coming to your body so you can have the rosy cheeks that we certainly like lose over the years. And uh, you produce this glow look. That's why I always say like, let's glow. Let's glow. <laughs> because that's the, the goal, like to, to have your, a face that is like glowing all the time. And the, the lymphatic system is the, the, the one of the purposes that it has is to produce the glowy skin, not only in your face, but also in your body. So if you, if you have imperfections on your skin, it's because you have your lymphatic drainage stuck or blocked in some parts. So if you do massages, you will see a huge improvement. Uh, and this, this applies to men as well? Not just yes. women. Yes, yes. I'm so glad that you said that because <laughs> my husband 
has a horrible case of bruxism. That's when you have like you clinch your teeth. Ah, okay. And it's like a muscle that is called the masseter, the one that allows us to chew. And so he's always doing this, even when he's sleeping. And when he eats, the jaw is always clinching. Oh. And it's really painful because it like gets like even stuck in here. And I was uh, doing all the time like uh, face yoga on him. I, there's a, a special buccal massage that I do on him that you put your fingers inside and that allows the masseter to release the tension. And also when you do face yoga, you will see and perceive that the muscles here are uh, with less pain, like you release the pain too. So if you're a guy and you have that problem, like face yoga, face healing method is like an excellent choice. And also if you want to look younger, if you want to look healthier, and if you want to get rid of all the toxins, it, it's uh, my, my son has like, um, spots and like breakouts because like he's in that age he's yeah. 17 so when you boost your lymphatic system your toxins are going to be released and it's going to prevent to have acne eczema also any allergies on your skin so it's like the lymphatic system is the trash collector so you need to boost that thing like with your hands and it will you will see like benefits like there are so so noticeable in the first seven days if you do your face yoga amazing and i'm and i'm pretty sure like you offer this in your social medias you show the techniques and like you you have you know you do sessions um is there any way like where there where somebody can can reach can within your socials which which social media platform if they want to like you know learn the practices um so if you can inform us like which which of them you, you practically use just to like have your your sessions i have a instagram account in spanish that is carolina jarinova like my name and i have an english uh, profile on instagram that is called the lymphatic queen i have also a youtube channel uh, with my name carolina jarinova TikTok, and you can find me also here in Toronto. I have a spa in Sweat and Tonic in Sean, in Young and Shorter and at the well. I do lymphatic uh, massages uh, in person there. Uh, it could be like a full body massage or it could be like face uh, lymphatic sculpting. So uh, you can choose. And I am always sharing different techniques in my reels and in my lives or how to um, like lift your face, your cheeks, like on their eyes uh, to, for bruxism, also for body, if you like have um, stagnation, if you, are, if you are feeling your body is like getting puffed uh, or swollen. So every type of um, uh, situations or, or I have for a lot of uh, cases, uh, reels that you can see and I also have a seven day challenge in English and in Spanish if you want to come that you can have your app and use your phone and do the, your lymphatic massage your face healing method every single day uh, I always uh, say that it's better if you do it in the morning and afternoon so you can see the results and uh, you can do it with your skincare in the morning and with your skincare during the night and also I have a teacher training for all the RMTs that is already in English. And we will have our first training in English in Toronto this Amazing. June 18. And I'm really excited because <laughs> I have more than 153 teachers around the, the globe. Uh, always in Spanish, but this is going to be the first time of our training in Toronto in English. So here we Amazing. go. Amazing. So guys, remember, I'll put in the, the links to all the Carolina's uh, socials in the description below. Be sure to check her out, follow her. Uh, she's doing amazing work uh, um, and she's she's amazing. I can vouch for her. So check her out in the links in the descriptions below. I'll put it in there. Um, so yeah, I want to get back to just your your upbringing, um, and and your, you know your 
your your youth you know how is it how is it growing up and you know for most that don't know if you can just like tell us where you're from um you know and what was your what was your drive to you know become the person who you are I was born in Nicaragua and when I was six we moved because of the war to Guatemala uh, we didn't have any family there and my parents took us and there was my, my first migration <laughs> and uh, my parents basically didn't have anything they had to start over and uh, I was uh, raised in really really poor poor conditions until my dad got his papers and he start and he started working and it was actually like really tough i i saw a lot of the struggle that they had and uh i think that that was a big part of um this thriving that i have in me because i saw my parents to migrate to an unknown country and start like my my dad the first job that he has in Guatemala that he had in Guatemala was pumping gas and from there he was managing the gas station and then they saw that he had a degree in economy in Nicaragua so they interviewed him and and uh, they passed through like the papers or the whatever they they needed and they saw that he was really focus on like us and providing for us and he was a really responsible guy so he started like working and he achieved many many things that uh i'm really proud of so he built um a lot of uh gas stations in belize and in the u.s and uh looking at my dad like coming without nothing and and uh, never like see him quit and like going for it like i think that was a big lesson for me it's like he didn't have any plan b either because like he was always saying like we can't even ask someone for money you know so i have to be like uh, in my best to get all the opportunities that are there because he also had three kids we were like i have a brother a sister that are younger than me so i was looking all that and i think that that's why i don't think that uh, anything is impossible i believe that everything is possible no matter where you come from and no matter your conditions and no matter what you have seen or believe you just have to take a choice and take that chance that is waiting for you outside the door like for me it was I'm so uncomfortable doing this live, I swear. <laughs> no, you're doing amazing. You're doing great. <laughs> I'm so like used to doing in Spanish and I have to overthink the words that I'm saying, but I'm taking that chance. Yes. Like I'm going for it and I don't care. Like, like I, I expect that subtitles like <laughs> give me justice, <laughs> but I'm going for it. <laughs> no, exactly. It's the challenge, right? It's how we, how we, so my next, yeah, my next point was going to be on the challenges we face, um, you know, and, and especially like, you know, in, in these kind of tough times in the world, like we face these challenges, you could either, you know, face up to the challenge or you could just run away from it. Um, and I know that a lot of us have those, those, you know, those negative thoughts at times, sometimes when we like, okay, should I, should I jump into this or shouldn't I? Um, but what I've learned also over the year, last couple of years is that even if you fail, it's okay. You've tried, you know, but you keep going like failure is actually the, you know, the, the key to success. I think, like, I think I learned more in failure than in, in victories because in victory, I mean, you, you know, everything is just easy things working, you know, you, you're happy, but when you're facing a challenge and you're facing a failure, you need to go back. You need to go back to the drawing board and find out, okay, what failed? what didn't work and how can I improve going forward? Um, so I think what my next question to you would be like, during your journey of lymphatic uh, training and face yoga, were there any like challenges that you faced, you know, to get to a stage where you can comfortably like share it with people? I didn't know how to sail. So that was really challenging because I love to do the face yoga and the lymphatic drainage. But I think that most of us, when we're like entrepreneurs, don't know how to sail. 
and we love what we do and because we love it so much and it's easier for us we think that we can ask for it. Oh, so sales as in as in like like monetizing it yeah okay okay by, by selling oh, okay okay selling, promoting right that was a really challenging thing for me because i was like uh I think I was, um, I always think that uh, I should be doing this for free because it's, it helped me so much with my Bell's palsy and I feel so good. And I want, I wish everyone will have this in their life so they can feel better with the, with our, with their bodies. That that's like something that I struggle with. And another thing is that, that imposter that I have every single day that I'm not good enough. Why are they buying me? Why am I doing this? Like, why Why are you like always when it's more? Like, in fact, right now it's like this voice in my head, like, why don't you just stick with Spanish? Why do you do, you're doing it in English too? Like, why? And like, how many people is also having bell spouses that they don't know how to speak Spanish, right? So I say that to compensate the imposter syndrome. When I say, when I think, I should like just stay in, in Spanish. I'm like, no, Bell's palsy doesn't just hit people that speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. they, it also hits people that speak English. So I'm like turning around and I'm saying, this is my purpose again, like reach those people, reach that people that wants to feel better with their bodies. So you always are going to have these challenges. For me, it's like every single day, I have a new one, I swear. <laughs> Like, like they're saying that I'm tired or like saying that, oh, my God, I'm doing too much. Or um, there is one thing that happened uh, a few months ago that some um, mafia <laughs> was uh, just like uh, they uh, get to my Instagram account and they try to take it down. Wow. And it was because it was a system in Mexico that it was uh, a hacker that it was asking to pay 2000 US if you want the account to be back. So he hacked my account and uh, he wrote to me and he said, you know what, if you don't give me the 2000, it's not going to come back your account. And if you pay, the thing that you have to do is that it will be up again, but you have to share with all your followers that uh, I'm the one who helped you to do wow. this. And uh, when I had this thing, I swear it was horrible because I rely on my business to maintain my kids. This is all I have. And I was like, am I going to lose everything or should I pay? And the thing that I always have is that I'm, really like transparent and i believe that mm -hmm. everything that i say is the thing that i am so i said to myself i'm willing to lose everything in my accounts but i'm i can't post him i can't post that he helped me yes that's being part of this big scam you know yes and, um uh it was really really tough uh that was something that it was one of the, my darkest days but uh the feeling that owning that who i am and that, that i was not going to do harm to other people was who bring me like the strength to keep going i talked to instagram instagram finally got my account back and then when i posted that i was being uh like how do you say like that, that i was being um that i was i was being that they want me to do that or otherwise, oh, you know, yeah, I get what you, I get what you're saying. That I was being blackmailed. Yeah, to yeah. Post him and everything. A lot of people that were like looking at my life, they were saying, "Oh my God, I had the same situation, and I have to post them." And there were over 200 big influencers in all Mexico that were they were like getting into that scam, and that one was and that thing was growing and growing because they were agreeing. Yeah. To him so i was the one who like you know Cut what it off. took it off and yeah. i'm willing to lose everything because the thing that we have is that we think that failure is something bad yes and yes. it's not no. failure is always a lesson it's always something that teaches that teaches us how to become stronger how to 
to mutate or how to come evolve yeah yeah evolve yeah yeah and and, and like evolve yeah yeah that's that's so an accurate word thank you for sharing that <laughs> evolve yeah and um i remember that after that thing that i thought that it, i lose everything I just acknowledge that you know what Instagram is not me. Mm -hmm. Like people that follow is following me is not me. I am, I am, and that's enough. And I can like lose everything, and I will jump back and like start everything again because I know and I know better. Like it's not me at the beginning; it's me at this stage. Yes. And I think that fear of losing is one of the worst thing that we have because that's stop us stop us of like going after our dreams yes no that thank you for sharing that uh i'm sure it must have been very difficult to actually you know share that story and you know thank you for that yeah it was really <laughs> <laughs> difficult and like uh, my husband was uh here and my kids and all i remember it was like a dark cloud in my in my condo and i uh, i'm usually really positive it's another thing that i me people and believing that i was not worthy or that i was still like in a beginner or that I was that they have like a better thing and that were that they were like more successful because they were like this or that mm -hmm. that we usually always do and when I found out that a lot of people that I was looking up they were the people that was posting this is scam I was like that was such a gift because mm. I acknowledge that I was willing to risk everything, that I was willing to be truth to myself, and that I was willing to take a bullet <laughs> so no one else <laughs> can take that bullet, you know? And I, that was such an incredible gift for me because like it made me stronger, it made me realize that, you know what? You're more than enough, you're like you, and no one can take that from me. No, exactly, exactly. And I think that's where um, community and support comes in, you know, like for, for, for a lot of us, we, we think we can do things alone, uh, but we don't know the power of, of community and support. You know, if you have the right support uh, behind you, you know, anything can be achieved. So my next, my next point would be like to ask you is uh, let's glow, you know, is your uh is your brand uh, and i'm sure you have like a amazing community and support behind you what was you know how do you feel having that kind of of following right now or community it's like uh makes me feel like everything that i have lived and experienced and deal with up to now was totally worth it <laughs> because when i see uh the pictures the testimonies of the things that people uh have received from my trainings my classes my reels my words uh, even in my podcast or whatever that i say it's like it's like goes to your heart and you mm. you're you're like in this stage where like you know like your purpose your 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 goals are like meant to be that this was my calling and um it was funny because when i started saying let's glow a lot of people were saying like it let's go it let's go it's not let's like, go no, why are you saying <laughs> and i started like that in the 20 2019 right and uh after now like after me I, I i keep looking at everything it's like glow here and glow here and, and and everything and like in so many places and i'm like wow it's like how much is like everything spreading because one person like i had a dream of this and like everyone just took that dream and made it for itself and it's like growing every single day and and i swear that uh 
I have people that have said that they couldn't like uh, be pregnant and after my massage they balance the hormonal uh, system and the in the nervous system and now they have uh, kids and like other people are saying like I had a Bell's palsy and I recovered with your method with your method and there's other people that is saying like um, before I, I used to be so stressed and I hate my body or my face and now like I love it and when I came back from from the from the on, on Instagram when they like uh, put my account down everyone was writing uh, it was horrible to have a world without Carolina Jarinova's massage oh, and I'm so like sweet. oh my god <laughs> makes me cry again because it was really really so deep that everyone experienced a world without the lymphatic queen yes it was a dark one <laughs> <laughs> you bring lights you bring light to a lot of people and that's 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 amazing uh sense of accomplishment right you feel a sense of of purpose fulfillment yeah, yeah that's amazing um Thank you so much, you know, for sharing everything that you have with me today. Um, is there anything like final thoughts you want to share with, uh, you know, listeners out there? Anything that uh, Carol Carolina Jarinova is working on, you know, for the future? What's next for you? <laughs> Every single day I work on and choose to be this energy. Uh, you will if you hear me there's a lot of things that i say like energy 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 because that's how i think it's best described there's this uh thing that you have to acknowledge and um, that it helped me in the darkest places in my life and it helped me every single day is that first you're not alone the universe always has your back if he's not giving something right now, it's because it has something better. I have proved that theory so many times because I never believe it when people were like, no, that was not meant to you. Mm -hmm. like, it's, something better is coming. And then I'm like, I don't think so. I think something is like, why? Like, and I was like, what, <laughs> the whining move and like fighting. And, but like, now that I look back, yeah. it's like, oh my God, he was, so 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 like right this is so much better like i was thinking that i wanted that but it was not it, it has something better and the other thing that i always um have in my life is that i have a dream my dreams keep changing keeps growing <laughs> and my dreams are, are always always bigger than my fears so find a dream make it bigger and go for it <laughs> uh, muchas gracias thank you so much gracias <laughs> thank you so much carolina um, i'm sure a lot of people will uh will be interested in in listening to this uh you know this podcast and lymphatic drainage and and face yoga and um you know i hope you i hope all the best for you in the future and uh, thank you so much for joining me on my podcast i really appreciate it no, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be here. And I can't wait to see it and uh, and see all the people that comment and um, and sharing this live with anyone that needs to and to see everyone or some like everyone in my classes, either online or in present. So uh, thank you for having me. Thank you no, so you're, much. You're welcome. Uh, thank you guys for listening. And until the next one. See you guys. Bye. Bye. And let's glow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>